So when I was a kid, I used to put on a mask and a cape. I'd climb on top of my bed, and then I'd jump off and pretend to fly. And if I had to guess, I'd guess that I'm not the only person in this room who has ever tried that for one, but also probably not the only person who grew up wanting to be a superhero. I've always been fascinated with superheroes, and it's not just because they beat up the bad guys and they save the day and get all the glory, but really it's that superheroes aren't that different from me and they're not that different from you. So underneath the mask, a superhero serves a regular role, a regular job in society. So what if I told you that there's a cell inside your body that can become a supercell, or a superglia, rather? So that cell that I'm referring to is called a microglia, and that microglia lives inside your central nervous system. Your central nervous system is your brain and your spinal cord. So that cell's regular role in your body is to clear the debris that naturally occurs as your body develops. Then when you have cases of injury or disease that strike, that cell is able to break out into the superglia role. Now that's where my research comes in. But I want you to think of me as the villain. Because in my work, what I do is I use a laser to create an injury just outside the spinal cord in zebrafish. Then I use a microscope to image that injury site over a 24-hour period. Later, I can go back and not only do I watch microglia respond to that injury that I created as the vicious villain, but I also have a chance to observe that microglia breaking out into the superglia role. So what's known about superheroes is that they go back to that regular role in society once they're done saving the day. But what we don't know about these superglia is what happens when they re-enter the central nervous system. So when we're, this becomes incredibly important. So you're asking, why is this important? Why should I care about this superglia, this superhero cell inside my body? In cases of neurodegenerative disease states like multiple sclerosis or ALS, you see this massive degradation of the central nervous system. So you have a lot of debris that is created throughout the entire spinal cord and throughout the brain. Well, a microglia is responsible for clearing debris. But what my work has shown is that a superglia, once it re-enters the central nervous system, is able to rapidly clear more and more debris and it can migrate faster. So as you can imagine, in the context of neurodegenerative disease states or understanding traumatic injury, it's incredibly important to understand the role of this superglia once it comes back in and is able to clear more debris and how we can use that and understand that to combat neurodegenerative disease states. So my goal and for the rest of my thesis and my time here at Notre Dame, I'm going to spend that time trying to further convince you how superglia can save your central nervous system one debris particle at a time. Thank you. Thanks, Lauren. Okay, we want to learn more about the band now. This oh, is yeah. the other part of the band. So what instrument do you play? I'm the drummer. <laughs> so nice. Okay, so yeah. are you guys on iTunes? Do you have any gigs coming up we can come um, to? You kind of trying to go for a Grammy? Where are we? Oh, man, that would be awesome. But uh, most of the, we're just kind of confined to either my basement or uh, Kevin's basement who spoke earlier. Uh, we did do um, the biology recruitment. We had the recruits come in for the next class for their graduate students, and we played a couple songs for them. Uh, most of the time, we just have a really good time, try to get people. The lab is important, but you know, getting people out and hanging out outside of the lab and just listening to some good music is, is always good. But if you have any events you need booked, I mean, we are available. You, <laughs> you know how to find them, everyone. Yeah, Thank absolutely. you so much. Thank you.